collapse from this atherosclerosis. So if you come with me, we're going to show you how that becomes a heart attack. I draw the blood vessel on the board every time I teach. And most of my students roll their eyes. And that's okay, you can roll your eyes. I'll turn while you do that. Inside the blood vessel are beautiful red blood cells trying to go through life and circulate oxygen to tissue. Then we have to go back to our electrolytes and remember that we have intracellular electrolytes as well as extracellular electrolytes and I'm hoping that you're thinking what I'm thinking which is that the most abundant intracellular electrolyte is potassium. Potassium is in every cell in your body that's why that very sensitive value of 3.5 to 5.3 is really really critical to remember because when it's not normal, every cell in your body will suffer. The most abundant extracellular electrolyte is sodium. And of course, sodium and water always go together. We say that they're married. They're happily married. We should probably edit that. They're happily married. So they always go together. Now, as we stated earlier, you have had years of poor eating habits, maybe years of smoking, years of a sedentary lifestyle, and maybe you've picked up more weight than you really like. We will say for that purpose that your BMI body mass index is greater than 30, which qualifies for obesity. So if you have a BMI greater than 30, you have literally more surface area for the blood to circulate through. Now, in this blood vessel, as we stated before, we're going to say that you went to Burger King, McDonald's, Mr. Hero, you had a wonderfully delicious Subway sandwich that was not the healthy one. You had your chips with that. You love a good steak. And every time you eat that, you put atherosclerotic plaques in the lining of the vessel, making it harder for the red blood cells to move through. If you have a body mass index greater than 30, which qualifies you for obesity, it's going to be even more difficult to move that blood through. Then let's take your Marlboro cigarette or maybe Newport cigarette, and let's go ahead and add that in any cigarette, or let's just say the funny cigarette. And we'll say that you smoke, and we're going to throw one hour of vasoconstriction to this vessel. Now what's happening is with atherosclerotic plaques in the vessel, with that larger surface area to navigate through, with the cigarette literally closing up the vessel for a good portion of the hour, your blood pressure has to work harder to move the red blood cells through the vessel. Literally, the pressure, pressure is the key word, goes up because you need a higher pressure to move those blood cells through that blood vessel. This is now hypertension. That's what high blood pressure is. It's taking a lot more pressure to move those red blood cells through. So we'll do that. We'll give you the high blood pressure. But then add to that that you, again, really don't move much. You like to play PlayStation still, even though college was 20 years ago. 
you enjoy sitting on the couch watching the Cleveland Browns beat the Steelers. No, let me, I'm sorry, that was so, so wrong. You enjoy watching football, let's just say that. Let's say you enjoy sitting on the couch watching my favorite player, LeBron. That's better. Now, you have not rode, you haven't gotten on a bike in God knows when. You drive to the corner to put the mail in the box. You take the elevator up to the, you know, all the things we talked about before. So when you don't move, neither does blood. As you sit, so does blood. And so blood clots very easily if it's not moving. And so we have a very high risk for a clot. We have a very high risk for a heart attack, which is just a clot in the coronary artery. We already have the atherosclerotic plaques, and this is just a nightmare, okay? Maybe you're like me. Maybe you're a type A individual. You're a little bit more high stress than the average person. You make sure that the alarm clock is set on two separate cell phones. You make sure that you're on time every time. You have deadlines to meet. You're a business owner. You do all kinds of things. And in a way, that's good, but in a way, that's bad because that stress is called catecholamine. And so we're going to put that up here because they're important. Catecholamine. Catecholamine are chemicals that make your blood vessel narrow. And when you get stressed, the way many business owners do, your blood vessels get narrow. This, my dear, is a perfect storm. It's a perfect storm for an MI, acute coronary syndrome, aneurysm, abnormal EKG, angina, acute arterial occlusion, and CHF. And now we can start this lecture. Thank you.